new topic that is air pollution so what is the daily requirement of air it is just 10 to 20 cubic meter per day and what are the composition of air most of the air is composed by nitrogen that is 78.1 percent by volume and next one is oxygen that is 20.93 percent by volume and then comes other gases with the carbon dioxide it is 0.03 percent by volume and other gases are argon neon chromium helium etc that compose 0.94 percent by volume so what is the definition of air pollution it's a presence of harmful gases mixture of harmful gases and other particles in atmosphere generated by human activity that interfere with human health safety or discomfort and also affect other environmental media resulting in chemical entering of food and drinking water etc so air pollution is a harmful gases or a mixture of harmful gases which is produced by or created by a human and which will interfere with his own health and safety and dis discomfort so what is what are the sources of air pollution first one is automobile automobile releases carbon dioxide cobalt lead nitrous oxide black smoke like that so these are the main air pollutants and from the industries there is so2 no2 fly ash smoke hydrogen fluoride hydrochloric acid hydrogen sulfide ozone etc these are released from the industries and in the domestic source from the home, there will be a release of smoke, dust, SO2 and NO2. And other uh, releases are burning refuse, incinerator, pesticide, spraying, natural source like fungi, bolts and bacteria etc. So, what are the effects of air pollutants? So, if there is increased carbon monoxide in the air, that will cause carboxyhemoglobin. This will uh, convert into uh, the, well, it's a one form of anemia. There is one more SO2, this will cause acid rain and lead will cause lead poisoning, decrease of IQ level in young children and there is carbon dioxide which will cause global warming and climate change. And hydrocarbons will form eye damage and cadmium will cause cancer. SO2 and H2S will cause unpleasant odor, conjunctival irritation, mental and neurological damage. And ozone, if there is any problem to ozone, there is a ozone layer depletion and will uh, ultimately result in the global warming. Uh, by polynuclear aeronaut, aerometric hydrocarbon, that will cause lung cancer and certain particulate matters will cause COPD and respiratory disease. In the health aspect, what are the effects of air pollution? In the acute effects are, there will be acute respiratory infection, acute pneumonia, acute bronchitis, immediate death by suffocation. These are the main health effects of uh, air pollution in the acute effect. In the chronic, this will cause COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung cancer, emphysema, respiratory allergy, etc. These are the chronic effect. What are the social and economic aspect? This will cause destruction of animal and plant life, corrosion of metals, damages to building. You can see the Taj Mahal that is damaged by the air pollution. Cost increase in cleaning and maintenance. Aesthetic nuisance, reduction of visibility of town, damage of soil, damage of clothing. So how can we prevent and control air pollution? So WHO recommended some of the procedure. Those are containment. First one, containment. It's a prevention of escape of toxic substance in atmosphere by enclosure, ventilation and air cleaning. So uh, whichever toxic is released that can be enclosed and ventilated and it can be cleaned before releasing and a replacement replacement of coal firewood lead petrol by new technology like electricity natural gas central heating and solar power 
so this coal firewood and lead petrol can be replaced by the modern technology like electricity natural gas central heating and solar power and dilution its self cleaning capacity of environment that is example establishment of green belt so the by dilution you can decrease the amount of air pollutants in the environment fourth one is legislation it's by forming forming implementing and monitoring the environmental act and regulation there are so many environmental act and regulation and we can use this to prevent the air pollutant release to the environment international action who establish an international network of laboratories for the monitoring and study of air pollution so you can see in the monitor uh, there is they will give how much Uh, the air clearance test and uh, uv radiation this everything will be monitored by international agency that is who that's all about air pollution thank you